Today it's time for an update on possibly one of the dumbest social media couples out there because not only did they endanger their own lives, but also often their kids' lives all to commit insurance fraud. And they didn't leave it at that. They also posted all the evidence online for everyone to see on TikTok and YouTube. So they are really close to just being the pinnacle of influencer morons. Their content became very popular because they were posting dash cam footage of essentially the husband driving incredibly recklessly, causing accidents, starting fights, road raging, and just the whole nine yards. But the last two videos he posted backfired massively. One of them, he accused the person who was the victim in all this of doing exactly what he did. And then in the second video, he claimed that the police were conspiring against him. So I'm just gonna show you this right now. What you see here, this is Jeremy Barabas. He's about to set me up for an insurance scheme. He's about to set up an accident. <laughs> He recognized me from Facebook. Now, after only watching that video one time, you may be confused because this guy is accusing the other driver, the innocent man involved in this, of doing exactly what he's doing to him. So if you watch this video again, we notice that this guy here. What you see here, this is Jeremy P. Robbins. He's about to set me up for an insurance scheme. He's about to He slams brakes. And when he sees the guy tries to avoid him, he turns and goes across the double line to make sure he hits him. It looks like he tried his hardest to get hit. And not only that, he filmed it all, posted it on the internet, and overlaid the video with his own face. I mean, this is just Darwinism at its finest. And he even posted a TikTok right before he went into court. So, I'm here. Right there, there's the guy. That's one of the detectives. <laughs> I'm here. And we're gonna do this. Find out that they're gonna conspire with the sheriff or if they're gonna cooperate. We'll see. <laughs> this is the last video he posted, by the way, because he was arrested after this. That last one's a wild video to post before getting arrested. <laughs> Just from watching that video, it doesn't seem like he has any remorse whatsoever. But this whole story revolves Christopher and Kimberly Phelps, a couple from Yukaipa, California. And as you saw, they deliberately caused multiple car accidents to scam money out of insurance companies. And the wildest detail of this story is they were intentionally causing car accidents with their kid in the backseat. So uh, fortunately for the California citizens, the California Department of Insurance stumbled across their YouTube and TikTok channels. And as I mentioned earlier, these videos were just loaded with his reckless actions, including collisions, road rage incidents, and near misses. Thankfully though, they made it very easy for investigators because they posted over 160 videos to those YouTube channels, which is essentially just evidence of everything they did. Because those videos showed that these collisions were not accidents. These were intentional acts by Christopher. And he really racked up some numbers because he filed 17 suspicious insurance claims related to 23 documented collisions featuring in all these videos. And then for the icing of the cake, there were 42 videos showcasing road rage incidents and attempted collisions, some of which seemed to be intentional. And it didn't take long for their channel to also catch the attention of the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department. This happened from the video that we watched earlier where Christopher caught another very weird collision where it seemed like he turned out into the lane to purposely get hit by that truck with a trailer. And I guess unfortunately for Christopher, this led the investigators straight to him. And at this time, Christopher faced a bunch of charges, including six counts of assault with a deadly weapon, 11 counts of insurance fraud, and five counts of child endangerment. Kimberly was also charged with two counts of felony child endangerment and one count of felony insurance fraud. Both of them ended up being booked with a half a million dollar bail for each of them. And the recent update to this entire story is that Christopher was sentenced to three years in state prison. Kimberly was sentenced to 90 days in the weekend county jail slash work release, three years of supervised probation and a 52 week child abuse prevention program. But the massive kicker to the story though is the San Bernardino DA said the reckless and fraudulent behavior of the co-defendants posed a danger to society while risking the safety of their own child. Our office is confident that in addition to the defendant Phelps prison term and ordered restitution to all victims, public safety in San Bernardino County will greatly be increased with his lifetime revocation of driving privileges. So I mean, hey, if you're a California driver, you are now a lot safer today than what you were last year. Overall though, what a trash human being. I'm still trying to understand the upside here. Like, okay, 
you might make a few extra dollars committing insurance fraud. But if you're doing this with your child in the back seat, like at, at what cost? You're risking your kid's life. You're risking your own life. You're risking your wife's life. You're risking your own freedom. Now he's going to be locked away for three years where he can't be a father. The mother is also getting that sentence. So she can't really be a mother for a little while. It's a sad story. Overall, though, I'm happy they were caught in the justice system actually did something about this because I genuinely believe California is now a better place to drive with them not being on the road. In my last video, we went through some of the clips showing how insane his driving really was. Like he clearly had no place on a public road. But I guess the icing to the cake of this whole stupidity was not only did he commit insurance fraud with his kid in the back seat, putting the kid's life at risk. No, he also documented himself and just willfully posted it himself on his own TikTok and YouTube account. Like, oh, <laughs> where's the upside here? Like, is the potential upside of, oh, maybe I can make a little bit extra YouTube ad revenue off of my insurance fraud as well? Really? That's what we're doing? But then he just multiplies the risk of getting caught by a thousand times. I'm realizing we need a new Darwinism because like the whole like Darwinism is, ah, oh, he removed himself from the gene pool. But this guy is just like, what, what's the influencer version of Darwinism where you do something so incredibly stupid, you end up in jail for a couple of years rather than, I don't know, being with your family. If you can think of what that could be, comment down below. I might need to implement that into the channel. And especially that last clip where he was accusing the police of conspiring against him, sitting there in the courtroom. I mean, how did does that help you? Overall, this is just a very interesting case because I'm a little bit baffled and uh, amazed and how he essentially just ruined his own life and posted it for the entire internet to see. I realize we cover a lot of people like that, but this one, this dude's in his 40s and he's doing it. Normally we, we cover stupid stuff that 19, 20, maybe 25 year olds do. And what's wild about this guy as well is like, I can't even show the worst of his clips here because I don't want this video to get demonetized. But I'm just completely baffled that he would go as far to upload these clips where it's so clear that he is in the wrong and he's uploading it to YouTube assuming that he's in the right and that he deserves sympathy for this. Because poor guy just cannot drive whatsoever and he has to post it on the internet to show the world that he cannot drive. Poor dude. The people people I pity is the people who have to share the road with him. And this week has been a busy week as well. There is so much happening, especially revolving TikTok. I don't know why, but everyone decided to be incredibly stupid on TikTok this month. So I got plenty of videos coming for you guys soon. And I swear every single time I find a new topic, at least recently, I've been like, how? Why did they do that? Some of it's actually a little bit tragic, but like, it's, it's like, it's so stupid. It's laughable, but I also feel bad for them at the same time. Stay tuned guys. So thank you guys so much for the support. And by the way, I am getting ready to drop these pretty soon. So uh, so stay tuned, guys. And while this was a wild case, this man became one of the largest TikTok true crime influencers and then became one of the largest TikTok true crime frauds in only the span of like three months. And for every video he posted, it just got more and more unhinged. So that's definitely an interesting story I would recommend checking out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.